Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwing, and of course, welcome back to another episode of LEGO Batman 100% Walkthrough, aka the Mini Kit and Red Power Brick Guide. So without further ado, let's dive on in without wasting any time and dive on in to the next mission, which is... Chai Church, a daring rescue. Looks like we've got two mini kits already acquired prior to even beginning this, but nonetheless, I will try to point out uh, where those two are as well. Now, of course, make sure to go check out the previous three episodes in this uh, particular uh, set of missions, and of course, also check out all the other uh, episodes that I've covered up to this point, which is quite a few already. I think this is, uh, what is this? This is episode 24, maybe? Uh, yep, something like that. Sounds sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty correct. So, uh, yeah, there's still 23 more episodes to check out, which is pretty crazy when you start thinking about it. That's nearly 30 videos right there. So, uh, let's see what we've got here uh, being shared by, of course, the one and only uh, Penguin to, it seems like, Catwoman. So, let's see. Bah, my beloved feline companion, stolen. What's next? Sorry, what's that? Rescue her. But the operation, M my beautiful machine, risk it all. Yes, yes, of course, she's worth it. I was just, uh, waiting for the right moment. Yeah, sure you were. You definitely sound like you were waiting for something. Okay, so, let's kick things off by planting this. It goes boom, shakalaka. Then we need a character that can run on the poisonous stuff. And right down here, one of those blue studs over there is actually, uh, one of your mini kits. So there we go, that's one, right? Sure, that brings your, uh, count to one. Now you're going to need to be able to glide. There we go. Push on that. And that activates one of your power sources uh, towards the door. So you only need one more after that uh, for the mechanism to be active. So we've got it halfway uh, done up and halfway ready to go. All right. So we're going to cross on over to this side. Now, I don't remember for some reason. Again, I'm going off of memory here. I don't remember if you needed to go up here or not. Something tells me yes, something tells me no. So I'm just going to double check just in case. Okay, it'd be nice if I could actually jump off. <laughs> Did you see that? I mean, come on. What is that? Okay. There you go. Good job, buddy. Oh, all right. Well, there's still a ton of studs there, so that's pretty nice. whoops a daisy Down I go. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Okay, so now I'm going to need... Uh, and again, a character that can walk on the poisonous stuff. We need to do a little bit of smashing and bashing on this side of things. Because you need to, of course, as I said before, still one more activator point needs to be acknowledged. So there we go. That's one side. This is the switch right here in the front. Whoops. There we go. One more piece was missing. And finally, the right side. And now you go ahead and pull on that lever, activating the secondary side of that uh, mechanism there and allowing you to, of course, access the next area of the game. Or, more necessarily, of this particular level, I should say. Okay, so, gonna hoppity over that. And I don't know why I ran into the wall there. And head on over through here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need the Joker to electrocute this thing. And come on up over here to probably the least convenient uh, way and place to hold a band practice ever and uh, the way I like to look at it is that <laughs> You know how there's a citizen in Pearl right there the way I like to look at this is that they're like the music is so torturous that uh, They're just torturing the citizen with the music. It's pretty It's pretty horrible, but it actually uh, doesn't sound too bad Time time to dance so you just let that whole thing play out a little while. Then you could uh, obviously save the Citizen and Pearl right here. That's a good idea. And grab the mini kit right there. Boom, shakalaka. Giving you two mini kits, I believe, at this point, right? Um, let me see. Did I need to go? No, okay. So I'm going to hop in here now. Come on up. Uh, I'm going to use the gliding ability to come across. Get over to this area, and now we are going to need Batman, or Batgirl in our case here, uh, with the heat suit to walk into this area here. Then, what you shall do next is actually position this sucker right over to here. And then, uh, you don't even need to do all the other stuff, because you could, if you balance just right, there you go. You could grab everything that you need, and if you got a stud, uh, a stud magnet on, just as I do, saves you a ton of time. Alright, so, once you're done with all that stuff, um, hop in here, hop on out, 
and head on over to the next area. Okay, gonna pull this guardrail off. Not guardrail, but you know what I mean. Uh, that plug in there. Might as well grab that blue stud there. It's pretty easy to do. Alright, now we gotta assemble a crocky. It's time to get a crocodile together. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Once it's done, of course. And we still have, I think there were some pieces. Yep, there they are. Over here. And here we go. This is probably one of the most um, time-consuming things on this particular uh, level. Just because you have to assemble it bit by bit by bit. So it takes a takes a little while. Uh, you gotta kind of go around. Depending on the pieces that are moving, those are the pieces that you could obviously address. So now, as you can see, considering we've built the base, you can just kind of build in any order that you want. There's the big schnauzer there. Looking pretty cool. And the legs. Some people ask me what a schnauzer is. It's nose. That's what I refer to. So if I say schnauzer, that's what I mean. Alrighty, so we've got the feet there. Now, of course, what body part is missing? Of course, a tail. There we go. Now we can hop on in. Something missing still? What the? Oh, okay. Probably from this, right? There we go. There are the last few pieces. The leg, of course. Nice. Okay, get on in, Matt Hatter. And away we go. So all throughout here, you don't have to worry or concern yourself about pretty much anything. Just try to smash uh, on your path uh, all of these different items and stuff like that. Because uh, once you smash all five, you'll get a mini kit. So just smash them all up. Nice and dandy. Alright, so I missed one, obviously. Because right there, that one right there that I smashed should have been the last one. So we missed one, so we're gonna go on back. <laughs> I love the crocodile's face, it's so derpy. He's like, oh, look at me, I'm a crocodile. All right, there we go. There's the fifth, and there's your... Uh, the blue stud right there would be a mini kit. So, <laughs> I love how those guys were chasing us, and then as soon as we turn around, they're like, oh, never mind, don't want to fight you. Forget about that. But, uh, yeah, there you have that. And now we can head on over to here. Deal with this situation. Switch to Batgirl with the Sonic suit, or Batman. Either way works just fine. We get in here, pull the lever, allowing us to climb that stairwell over there. So now, uh, your count should be exactly the same as ours, which I believe three, or four, sorry. So at this point in time, you should have four mini kits fully assembled. There we go, gonna get up here now, and grab ourselves another one of our mini kits. There we go, Bring our total to five. It's pretty cool. Okay, so... Uh, do we just go on? I don't remember. I think so. Okay, away we go. So, in this, uh, well, might as well actually switch to freeze. Then, gonna need penguin for assistance. Nope. I said, there you go. Send a little penguin up in there. Pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, I think I could save a lot of time if I just get this right. There we go. Oh, come on. He almost pulled it off. I've done this before. Whoa, what the heck? I just come down and I get blown up. To smithereens. The heck was that all about, guys? It's not cool. Okay, come on. Come on, Matt Hatter. We just got up there a second ago. I know you could do it. Don't pretend like you can't all of a sudden. Let me try someone else. Let me try Ivy. I always... I play really well with Ivy. Insert jokes there, because I know there will be. Okay. No, no. Whoops. Okay, come on. I said I was going to save time. We've wasted time. Alright, so. In here, we've got a ton of stuff to do. Including uh, getting ourselves a mini kit right over here in the corner. So that's cool. Let's get rid of these guys here. Real quick. Boom, shkalaka, boom, boom, shkalaka, boom, boom, shkalaka, boom, boom. Alrighty. So, got rid of all those suckers. Now we got to smash and bash everything. We're not quite done yet. Uh, in fact, we need to use the Sonic suit on this stuff. There we go. And once you've done that, you can then assemble this little cannon over here. Which will fire away. Boom! Revealing a secret entrance or exit, I guess. Whatever, whichever way you want to call it is just fine. Uh, I'm going to change to Nightwing with the Attract suit. Because I'm pretty certain that we're going to need 25 bits. At least from my memory. Okay, so that's 8. 9, 10. 11, 12, 13. 14, 15. No, not even 15. Oh, okay. That's not cool, but whatever. 
we go on to the next area, shall we? So, in here... Let's see. Come on, I just... I'm using the vacuum. It's not vacuuming. I don't know why. Okay, for now, I guess... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, wait. Yep, there we go. I need to bring this... Over to here, I believe. Yep. Okay, now we got a grapple hook up here. And we're gonna need our gliding suit, or any character that could glide. Batgirl works just fine. Oh, nope. Nope, she doesn't. <laughs> falling part. The falling part is not cool, Batgirl. You gotta not fall. Okay, perfect. Now we need Nightwing with the radio control to raise that level. Switch back to Batgirl again with the gliding suit. Alright, that could have gone better. Much better, I would say. That being said, I think I should be... Whoops. Ah, I can't do that. I cannot do that, unfortunately. As much as I'd like to do it, I can't. Alright, gonna go all the way back up. Do the whole bit over again. <laughs> oh my god. On the last episode, I had some troubles. Now, it's like it's repeat business again. Same thing is happening once again. I'm having a hard time... Oh, okay, what was that all about? I'm having a hard time with very, very simple things. And the worst part is that, like, I never... Like, look, why would I do that? Like, the game was just not wanting to work with me sometimes. Ah, uh, please don't rage. Please don't... Okay, what? why Why are you doing this right now, Bat, bat Girl? Bat, bad Girl, more like Bad Girl, not Bat Girl. Oh my god, why are you hitting the wall? I never asked you to do this. I swear. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change up the tactics. I'm gonna switch to Ivy. There we go. That's much better. At least that worked. Alrighty, got ourselves the red power brick. Thank God for that. <laughs> so now I can move on out. Thank goodness. That took a while there, didn't it? Alrighty, so once we get in here... We can press on this button to lower the defenses and open up the gate over there. But before we move on, we're going to need a character that could mind control. So, uh, whoops, there's Mad Hatter. Here we go. Come on, confuse him into believing you. He will believe. I'm telling you, he will believe. Open it up, open it up, open it up, open it up. This is a pretty cool bit of the level here, actually. It's very, very unique because it's not quite like anything else. Uh, in terms of uh, what you have to do down here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to assemble this car real quick. Come on. There we go. And perfect. Then what you need to do is you need to park these vehicles. Um, you need to do three of them. You're going to do the car here. You're going to do the big truck over here. And then in the corner over there, there's going to be a motorcycle as well. So we'll take care of that in just a brief moment. There we go. Perfect. Assemble that. This, and one more wheel to go. I don't know why. Sometimes I say veal instead of wheel. Here we go. The last little bit is up here. Because, of course, a siren is so important that a car cannot operate without one. Right? There we go. Oh, my God. Every time I think I'm done, I'm still not done. There's still one more piece to go. Oh, my. And here come the police officers. Gonna take them all down. By the way, were they hiding in that thing <laughs> the whole time? They're just waiting. They're like, oh, we're gonna strike. As soon as he's done building this damn thing, we're gonna strike. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So we've got two vehicles done up. And, of course, only one more to go. We're gonna need the assistance of Mr. Freeze. To take care of that. And, of course, I don't know how, but we, out of ice, out of thin air, and out of thin ice, we've assembled ourselves a motorcycle. There we go. We parked all the police vehicles in their appropriate spots and uh, now we're gonna need Nightwing the other character switch here because we already have some there we go now if you didn't want to collect uh, bits over there I think I'm pretty sure that there are over 25 in here so you don't have to concern yourself with uh, that stuff so it's really kind of up to you uh, where you decide to collect you know I think we got 25 yeah we got more than that Okay, so head on up, and again, if you want to collect more than 25, you're more than welcome to do so, uh, because by collecting more than 25 uh, pieces, you will, of course, be rewarded uh, with extra studs, so that's awesome. Alrighty, here we go, another mini kit. Bam, beautifully assembled. Alright, so that's nice, and uh, 
That is all. I guess we move... Wait a minute. What have we got here? I don't remember this. What was over here? Why can't I recall? Would that lead me? Okay. I know that I'm supposed to go over there, but what is this? Okay. I would assume that there's something here. Oh, okay, never mind. Now I remember. You gotta use the safe to jump over that area because you don't have poison ivy first with you. Okay. Good. Memory. Memory blank. Alright, so right off the bat, as soon as you turn in here, you're gonna switch to Nightwing or um, Robin with the Magnet suit. Grab your ninth mini kit, leaving you with only one more to collect. And just pull this off right here. Boom, boom, boom. Smash and bash. Do a little bit of smashing and bashing up in here. And unlock this little air boost. There it goes. Opening up that little tanker there. Or door, or hatch door. There we go, that's the right word. Sometimes words in me aren't very friendly. Okay, perfect. Now Penguin is going to get rid of this. And we can go ahead and press the button. And down we go. Alrighty, leaving us with only one more unlock to go. So I'm just going to rush on over this way. Whoops, come on. There we go. What the? What the heck? I thought I could blow it up, no? Am I completely forgetting this? Oh, wait. No, no, no. Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. It's this way. I confused myself. I'm like, where's the minikit? There was something that I needed to pull, wasn't there? There it is. There's the tenth and final minikit being protected by these rascally police officers. Oh, goodness gracious. Take him out, Clayface. And here we go. Our final minikit acquired. Excellent. There we go. So then after that, of course, you could just go into our com our com asylum. And let's take a look what we uh, assembled. What did our, all our handy work uh, give us? So we got ourselves the power brick detector, which is very handy, of course. However, if you acquire it this late, it's not quite applicable because you only have six missions to use it. So uh, it's not the best of items, but it's nice to have. Alrighty. There we go. It it's really useful if you uh, get it early on. That's what I would say. Alrighty. So let's see what we've assembled here. Okay, I know what this is. This is gonna be the derpy crocodile that we used. Awesome! Except they didn't give him the derpy eyes. They should have given him the derpy eyes. And look at that, we're at almost 5 million studs, which is absolutely astonishing and crazy. But nonetheless, guys, there you have it. That concludes another episode of LEGO Batman 100% walkthrough. If you guys enjoyed this uh, video, either in an informative manner or in an entertaining manner, or the combination of the two above, please like the video to show its support. And of course, you could also share the video with your family and friends and favorite the video. That would highly, highly uh, be appreciated and would really, really help out uh, the videos as well. Alrighty, guys, catch you guys tomorrow with the final episode for Power Crate's Penguin set of missions, which means that after tomorrow's episode, we've only got five more levels to go in the 100% walkthrough. And after that, there's a couple of uh, more uh, bonusy stuff to do as well. So tune in next time. Hope you guys had a fan flipping fantastic day and have a fan flipping fantastic day uh, from this point on. If you haven't been having a good one to this point, I hope that uh, maybe this video brightened up your day in a little way. Alrighty, guys, have a great day and I'll see you later.